to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. This is a sperm cell. This is an egg cell. Fertilization is the process in which the nucleus of a sperm cell fuses with the nucleus of an egg cell to produce a zygote. The zygote will eventually grow into offspring. Sperm cells and egg cells are known as gametes. Gametes are an organism's reproductive cells. They contain half the genetic information that all our other body cells have. Therefore, they are referred to as haploid. Sperm are male gametes. Eggs are female gametes. Gametes have adaptations which increase the chances of fertilization and ultimately successful development of an embryo. Sperm cell. Now let's look at the different parts of a sperm cell. Head. Middle piece. Tail or flagellum. Acrosome. Nucleus. Centriole. Mitochondria. The sperm cell is small and long. It passes on its nucleus to the egg in order to fertilize it. It contains 23 chromosomes. On average, a male releases millions of sperm. This is to increase the chances of fertilization. The sperm cell is well adapted to its function. It can be split into three parts. The head, the middle piece and the tail or flagellum. The sperm cell also has other parts which aid its function. Part of the tip of the head of the sperm, known as the acrosome, releases enzymes which digest the egg membrane. This is a protein coating around the egg cell which needs to be broken through to allow fertilization to take place. The haploid nucleus contains the genetic material for fertilization. The centriole plays an important role in pre and post fertilization. Sperm cells also contain many mitochondria which release energy for movement. The sperm cell's long tail allows it to move towards the egg cell. Sperm cells are produced in large numbers. This helps to increase the chance of fertilization. Egg cell. Now let's look at the different parts of an egg cell. An egg cell is also known as an ovum. A human egg cell is big and spherical in shape. It contains 23 chromosomes. The egg cells contain the organelles required for the fertilized egg to develop into an embryo and then eventually a human. It's approximately 130 micrometers in diameter. On average, a woman releases just one egg per month. The egg cell is adapted to its function. The parts of an egg cell are nucleus, cytoplasm, mitochondria, first polar body, zona pellucida, cell membrane, follicle cells. All of these parts aid its function. The haploid nucleus contains genetic material for fertilization. The egg cell cytoplasm contains nutrients. These nutrients are required for the growth of the early embryo. The cell membrane regulates the exchange of substances, protects the cell and facilitates fertilization by interacting with the sperm. 
The cell membrane changes after fertilization by a single sperm, so that no more sperm can enter. The mitochondria provides the energy needed for cell processes, including fertilization and early development. The zona pellucida in the egg cell protects the egg. It facilitates sperm binding during fertilization and it blocks the entry of multiple sperm. The follicle cells surrounding the egg cell provides nutritional support, secrete hormones and they help to regulate the maturation and release of the egg during ovulation. The first polar body in the egg cell is a byproduct of meiosis, which contains excess genetic material and is discarded to ensure the egg has the correct chromosome number for fertilization. In summary, sperm cells are adapted for reproduction by having a streamlined shape for movement, a tail for swimming, and an acrosome that contains enzymes to help penetrate the egg during fertilization. In summary, egg cells are adapted for reproduction by being large and nutrient-rich to support early development, with a protective zona pellucida and follicle cells that aid in fertilization and provide nourishment.